<laughs> cool guys, today I'm going to be talking about chronic inflammation and the causes. I think it's uh, it's a bit pretty on the sexy topic, but like, like I want to link, like, uh, to be fair it's kind of important because I think everyone's going to have some kind of bad health in their life, and if you're feeling bad, then sex is an issue, so that is quite a sexy topic, knowing how to have sex, right? So that's how I'm linking it. <laughs> so, but yeah, chronic inflammation. Like my background is like from from like a really buggered up one where I got Crohn's disease, and yeah, it's pretty bad. Like the reason I'm doing this is because like last week I was in hospital again, really bad. Like I, it's kind of like I'm, my eyes are rolling because it kind of happened too much. But I was just kind of I just <laughs> I just kind of need to refocus. So I just kind of was reading about inflammation, and it's kind of like. You just kind of got to know about how to prevent it so you need to know like what causes it so like knowledge is power guys so that's why I'm coming up with this with this long list of of like like facts and info and heavy stuff um, yeah like for instance I mean more than anything I just love crisps them crisps like you, you get in your mouth and it's crunch and all those kind of whatever they put in it, salt, whatever, tastes good, like, they spend millions of pounds, like, we're kind of up against millions of pounds of, like, which goes into advertisement media, promoting all this junk food, just to sell, so some wankers <laughs> can make money, right? And that's what we're up against, like, it's us by ourselves against these corporations which bombard us at every moment on YouTube, you've got these advertisements, oh, bloody everywhere, um, you know, you've got billboards everywhere like so it's us against them really like and you get these sales in the shops all these tactics to kind of you know make sales for these guys but at the end of the day it's really bad for us I mean whenever I eat a pack of crisps and I love it and I eat and let's not kid ourselves we never buy a little pack we buy a multi pack and eat like half I mean when I would eat it I just go through the whole thing I wouldn't I mean I'm I'm a kind of character where I'm all or nothing so I just hit the whole packet and like I swear not like my, I got Crohn's disease, so like I'm, I'm quite like not hundred percent of my health, but I, I, straight away I'd get ill. The same evening I'm pasty ill. It's a lot in the head, but I'd get, you'd feel it, the pain, the gas. I mean, it's just stuff in the body is just not working for it. Like the, them crisps, not doing anything good for it, apart from that second one you're eating it. It's that crunch, and then all this. I don't know what's happening in the brain when you're eating it, but it's loving it. Apart from that, it's doing a lot of crap. And that's why I want to go through this long list, long list <laughs> of stuff, of like things that you should avoid to try to reduce chronic inflammation. It's like, um, I'd say it, so it's fast foods, oxidized fats, sugar. Like sugar, like unprocessed. Unprocessed, you know what I mean? Processed. Oxidized fats, it's like just kind of, just kind of anything that's been put in frying oils, like. Just, yeah, anything that's been fried, so like those crisps, for instance, that's what it goes under there. Poor diet, lack of nutrients, like in America especially, with all the GMO, a lot of the foods have like not enough nutrients. And when you have not enough nutrients, I'll go later, that's kind of what kind of fights this bad food, like all these things, is, is having a lot of nutrients. So if the food lacks nutrients, like you're having a lot of kind of potato chips, they ain't going to have a lot of kind of vitamin C and stuff, is it now? Which kind of helps to fight this actually so that's another problem food sensitivities like i used to eat a lot of bread before i used to have eczema here here and all my bollocks now it's gone <laughs> it wasn't funny at the time like <laughs> so gluten casein eggs soy corn and peanuts are kind of the most some of the the most common like things people have which they're not it's not it's not an it's not an allergic reaction but it's a slow kind of kind of irritates you kind of thing and for the body it's really bad um, you want to limit being overweight uh, or, or obese if you can uh, which kind of comes it's kind of like a revolving cycle with these with these other food items um, a sedentary lifestyle so if you're kind of just sitting in the office and typing away all day and you kind of slumber to like your car or something get home you're not really moving all day uh, I think a lot of people in the West can talk, can relate to that, unless you're really going out of your way. Uh, so I'm in the morning, I'm, I'm doing a few press-ups, trying to do something to get up and moving. 
smoking, alcohol, we're smoking like pollution, that's pollution as well, so like pollution in cities, no, not just uh, smoking, alcohol, I tell you, I tell you not, like seriously, I was 18, I'm 22 now, I was 18, I was finishing school, school kind of went alright for me, kind of, it was bad, but I, I kind of, I, I winged the test, right? And I was like, you know, so I was like studying hard and I just wanted to just celebrate like fucking freedom, like. <laughs> um, and I went for a week, I never drank alcohol in my life, but then when I was 18, like, I thought I'd go with my mates on holiday. You drink one, you, know, you kind of lose control of yourself and then you end up drinking the whole week, like binge drinking. I come back, I could barely, I was so ill for like at least three, four months, I could not walk, I was in so much pain, you know, like my digestion system. But, like, so I'm kind of saying, like, I'm a kind of a sensitive character. A lot of these things I kind of feel, I kind of, I'm really oversensitive to. So, like, so, yeah, alcohol's a really bad one. So, like, if I feel it, then, you know, it's kind of showing us how bad it is. I could, it really bugged me up, like, I was thinking about surgery of my Crohn's. Like, I could barely walk. I mean, I was sleeping, I was having naps every day for a long time, long time, because I was so anemic and ill because of it. Socialising, my first year of uni was just completely wanked up because of it. So that alcohol, if limited if you can, uh, just uh, just bear in mind, like, it's so bad for you. Um, long term infections, like chronic yeast, but stress as well, like, just being pissed off. <laughs> like, you don't even realise how bad it is for me. I can get so stressed, I can physically get myself in hospital. I, 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 know, I know it from experience. Like, so I know when to kind of stop it, and like I'm becoming a lot more intuitive now. But like, <sighs> honestly, like, so like, just bear these in mind. But like, that's what causes chronic inflammation. You see this, McDonald's? You see Pizza Hut? You want to go? Shh, shh. You know what? I'd do that if I could in the real world. Like maybe one day they'll like they'll they'll fall off the, the face of the planet, but McDonald's and like, Pizza Hut and all that kind of fast junk, you know, on the go. You want to get rid of that. Like it's hard because like in the West everyone's kind of fast paced, especially like I mean I'm from London. Like everyone goes, it's like it's like ch -ch -ch -ch. no one has time, so it's hard for food. But like you know what? You just gotta make time for these things. Like so you don't eat on the go. You make something which is wholesome. Like the other day. I mean, this is my favourite soup, but it's like cucumber, like, sour, like it's like pickled cucumber soup, which is really great. It's hot and warm, it's filling, so I'm going to have this now for about my breakfast almost. Uh, a bit shaky because I was doing press ups not longer actually, like, <laughs> but like, this is what you got to make time for. Oh, it's kind of pickled. The sourness in it and the savouriness. Man, you could just, oh. And it's got like a lot of fluids, it's got a lot of nutrients. I mean, if I could show you, I would. It's got a lot of veggies in it, like, it's just, it's just the best. So, like, just try and make time for that. Because, like, all these foods cause, all these foods basically cause a lot of free radicals in the body. And if you, if you put too many free radicals in your body, then the body just can't cope, and it causes inflammation. So kind of limp dick for a guy, for a, you know, for a girl, cranky, yeah, poor concentration, and just a load of side effects you don't really want. Like if you knew about it, like you try to limit it. So like at least I'm feeling better. Usually, like my illness, I can be really pasty, and I look really like I'm about to die. It's really crappy. Yeah, we can do it together basically, just kind of, we stick together like our little community online, right? And we'll kind of like back each other up. Like write in the comments what you think, any questions, comments, kind of, let's just kind of keep a convo going. Um, like, subscribe, tell your mates, make a conversation about it, right? Bring it up, don't be a pussy about it, like, this is our health, guys. Uh, if we don't look after it, no one is going to look after it, so just kind of bear that in mind. So just say it to your mate, let them share it, you know, talk about it, you know, put, like, share me, be like, what, the, the wanker with the, <laughs> with his top off and that, like, uh, 
you know, I'm trying to make a point, like, of the whole health, right? Like, and, uh, but, like, tune into the next video. The next video is going to be explaining a bit more, like, in the science way. Like, so if you kind of want to understand it a bit more, how this buggers your body up, then just get, like, go below in the video and click on it and then go to the next one about oxidizing about about oxidizing about like how oxidate oxidization in the body occurs and like how free radicals can bug you up so yeah so uh cheers for tuning in thanks for kind of watching really appreciate it and uh hope to kind of like like see you guys in the next videos